Hello and welcome everyone. Today we will be learning about math formula node and rule engine node. Let's pause for a few seconds and see how Nine describes this node. If you have used if and or like functions in Excel, you would be able to relate that with rule engine. Now, before I proceed with the case study, let me explain the data set. Let me do a right click on table creator so that I can choose to show you manually created table. Now, you have approximately 10 names. These are the names of the students who have taken various elective subjects. They wrote two tests and the scores are given in the next two columns. Maximum score is 100, of course, minimum being zero. Now, the first thing I wish to do is find out the average of these two scores. I'll be using math formula. Now, based on that average score, I wish to figure out whether the score is high, medium or low. I'll be using rule engine. Next, I wish to figure out the difference between these two scores. For example, 55 less 50. 85 less 30. I'll be using math formula node again. Now, why would I want to do that? Imagine a student scoring 45 in the first test and 100 in the second test. In a span of a week, he has almost doubled his score. Now, that's a difficult task. Similarly, somebody scored 100 in the first test and the same person scored 30 in the second test. Now, that's a drastic fall in the score. So for such cases of high differences in the scores, I want to re-evaluate. Next, anyone who belongs to analytics elective subject group and whose average score is more than equal to 60, I wish to call them for an interview. So first is recheck, next is interview call and if there are any members who do not fall in either of these two groups, I want to have a column value saying no action. Very soon, we'll be using rule engine for that. So having understood the problem, let me now begin the solution. For convenience, I've already brought the math formula and the rule engine node on my screen. I'll be using them by copying and pasting and attaching with the previous process. Let me connect the two nodes, double click on the second one, which is math formula one, and I'll start writing the expression very soon. Let me adjust the window. So you can choose the appropriate category of expressions. As of now, I am looking for something which is aggregation function. Why? Because I see average there. So I scroll down, go to the expressions window. I then double click on average. Then it needs input columns. I choose test one as the first. I place my cursor after the comma and then I choose test two. By double clicking it, it appears in the parameter. I do not need the next comma, so I delete that part. Next, before I press OK, I am going to name this column as average score. All right, once I execute, I would definitely want you to see the output data. There you go. The average of 55 and 50 being 52.5. I close the window. Next, I bring the rule engine by copy pasting it and attaching to the previous node. Now here I wish to classify the average score based on high, medium and low. Let's see how it is done. I choose the rule engine, I right click, I go to configure. Next, let me adjust the window so that you can see the problem statement in the background, which is high, medium and low. Next. Now these are the hints, how can you write the functions? For now, let me keep just one of these so that you can relate best with the example that we are performing. First thing, I double click on average score. It's one of the columns that you just computed. If it is less than or equal to 40, then the answer I want to give is, it should be classified as low. Now, as I made a small mistake, let me put that equal to sign. So pause the video here and have a quick look. How does this expression work? 
This is the logical part and if this is found to be true, what is the answer that you would want in return? You can remove the equal to and the logic will now change to less than 40. I'll copy the same line to save time. I'll paste it in the next line and this time I'll change the score as 70 and change the return value as medium. Now, if the expression has evaluated line 1 and line 2, then I would want the residual value which were not part of either of the two logics should be classified as high. Now one way is to copy paste the same expression and change the values. The other way is write true in capital. That means for all the residual cases, consider them true and then the output that you would want is high. So this is kind of if else statement. Next, I would give the column name which is average score status or level, whatever you want to refer this as. Okay, I'll execute this and then I'll go to the classified values to show you the results. Notice somebody scoring an average score of 25 is considered low scorer. Wonderful. At any given point in time, if you feel this is overwhelming, pause the video, watch the previous few minutes and again come back so that we can do our next exercise. This and this. Let's resume. I bring in the math formula again, control C, control V. Normally you would do that from the left hand side panel of node repository. For now, I'll connect the two nodes, right click, configure. Next, I'll put score test one less score test two. Now, Depending on the score, it could be a positive value or a negative value. So I want to ensure the answer in final is a positive value. So I temporarily cut this expression and I look for something called ABS. It is used to make all the negative number as positive. Now I place my expression of test one score minus test two score within this ABS expression. And I'll give this column name as score difference. Now quick note, if you're doing any mathematical operations, just be careful what data type it is used. If these two columns were string columns, that means non-numeric column, they would not even appear here. So please go back and watch our videos on data types and how to change them. Eventually in real life, you'll be using that. I'll press OK and I would be glad to show you the output right away. Aha, what mistake did I make? This node has the yellow status which means I have not executed it. I then show you the output data after execution. Notice the score difference 25 less 25 is showing you zero. Perfect. Now for the final final step I will bring rule engine copy and paste. So what's the question? The question is there are three kind of status I want to build. One I want to get certain scores rechecked if there's a huge difference between score one and score two. Next, I want to call some people for the interview provided they meet certain conditions. And if any residual members are left behind, then no action as of now. So let me go back. Let me configure the rule engine with you. Let me push the window such that you can see the question right beneath the dialog box. Next. I delete all these comments. The first thing I do is score difference. If it is greater than 40, let me put greater than equal to 40. Then as a return value, I would want a string saying recheck. Now, of course, those people who had scored 60 in the first test and 100 in the next one, they would be part of this group. Outside this, I would want a dual logic. Anybody's elective subject has analytics word in it. It could be HR analytics, it could be sports analytics and the average score is more than equal to 60. They must be called for an interview. So the expression I'll be using very soon is and. Wait for it. The first problem here is the elective subject could contain the word analytics anywhere. To accommodate that logic, I first choose the appropriate column which is elective subjects. Notice elective subject space then I write the expression like. Now what is like? Like is very similar to search formula in Excel. It can use wildcard character and 
see how I write the wildcard character. Star analytics as a word, which means it could be software analytics, it could be HR analytics, it could be sports analytics. If you're not too sure, you might as well write analytic. For now, I'll write analytics. But this is not the only expression. I might want to add the word and. And here, I choose average score and that too greater than equal to 60. Now, this is just the logical part of it. But what is the return value you would want? So it's like you using the loudspeaker and telling out loudly what do you want. I want an interview call. There you go. Next, for any residual values, I would like to write true, then call out loudly what do I want as a return value. So I'll say no action or it could be on hold. That's about it. You should pause the video right now and spend some seconds on reevaluating these expressions. Towards the end, I would write the final status as the column name. Okay, I'm going to execute this and I'm going to look at the output value. So if I look closely, there was one person whose elective was analytics. The average was more than 60. However, it went into recheck. Reason? The difference between the first and the second test was 70 and above. Once the recheck members have been evaluated, next is the time for interview call. And finally, any residual members would be part of no action group. So to conclude, we learned how to use math formula and rule engine with this extensive example. Quick notes before I leave. One, mathematical operations are not supported in rule engine, which means if you try to configure by saying A minus B, whatever the value, if it is greater than 40, then give me some answer. So you are doing a mathematical operation, which is not allowed here. Next, as we proceed into the advanced videos, you will realize that column expressions node is one node which can do the job of string manipulation node, rule engine node and math formula node. So in lot many more column expressions, yes, it has made these three nodes obsolete. Hope you were able to understand all these example pieces. Do practice and we'll come back with more. Thank you so much.